Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the topic Compliance as a Service, in which we are going to learn how cloud computing services are compliant or what kind of compliance they provide to the organization, how do they provide it and how Compliance as a Service comes under anything as a service in cloud computing. <music> Compliance as a service. Compliance as a service or cloud compliance. It issues or occur as any cloud consumer make use of cloud storage and backup services. Cloud computing by its very nature extends various jurisdictions. Various jurisdictions that means it covers a lot of areas or various areas separately. The laws of the country of request from where it originates may not necessarily match the laws of the country in which the request is being processed and probably laws of neither location match the laws of the country in which the service is delivered. See, as we all know in cloud computing, there are several laws and countries involved. Say for example, if there is one company in country A and the cloud computing service provider is in country B and the data centers or from where the infrastructure is being provided is in country C, then the laws for all these of the, that means where the center or infrastructure is being provided, the law is different there from where the service provider or vendor is the law is different there the country or the company which is in the country or in different country which is availing the services the law is different there so to comply all these things this compliance as a service or cloud compliance is required or needed compliance is beyond than of basically provided an unidentified service token to an identity so that access to a resource can be obtained. Compliance is a difficult issue which needs considerable expertise. While compliance as a service seems in discussion, some examples which falls under service of this category exist as a general product for a cloud computing architecture. A compliance as a service application would need to oblige as third party. Compliance as a service may require to be architecture as its own layer of a service oriented architecture in order to be reliable. Now, a compliance as a service may be needed to be able to manage cloud relationship that means relationship from where the infrastructure is being made or where from where the infrastructure is being accessed then the service provider or the vendor which is providing a platform to access that infrastructure then the companies which are accessing the platform as well as the infrastructure all these things so these are the cloud relationships and compliance as a service is a service which provides or which manages those relationships in the cloud then comprehend security rules and procedures know how to operate data and administer privacy deliver an incidence feedback archive and enable the system to be queried this is a huge order but compliance as a service has the capability to be a good value added service. Then compliance as a service system built inside a private cloud in which the data is under control of a single entity thus confirming that the data is under the entity's secure control and that transaction is audited. Indeed, major cloud computing compliance systems have been created with the help of private cloud. See, what this compliance systems are there or in 
practice in the cloud computing system or services it is with the help of this private cloud because in private cloud you can make certain rules and the enterprises will follow so those rules or the compliance system is being made using private cloud a well implemented compliance as a service service may measure the risk of servicing compliance and ensure or indemnify tenancy against that risk that risk that means the risk of not complying with each other or not managing the relationship within the cloud or there can be certain things that enterprises may worry about so that is the risk which is there in cloud computing services compliance as a service can be brought to bear as mechanism to guarantee that an email conformed to particularly standards anything which may be new electronic service of a network of national postal system and something which may help in ending the courage of spam or scourge of spam the major services that should provide or that should be provided additionally in a compliance as a service offerings are first is database access control then second one separation of the duties that means what kind of control will be with the vendor will be with the infrastructure or resource provider will be with the enterprise etc then separation of duties that means what kind of duties all these cloud management or all these resources which are there in the cloud computing they are different yet they come together to form a cloud computing service so what kind of duties should be there and how it should be divided and given so that everyone can perform their duties in a beautiful or i could say in an efficient manner then annual risk assessment application management change control data discovery and data masking incident response policy creation and enforcement real time data protection repair of vulnerabilities personal training service configuration etc then the pros that means the advantages and disadvantages of compliance as a service if the company or enterprise is involved in highly regulated industries like healthcare or financial services then you may want to think about using compliance services from cloud based companies as they can enhance the compliance initiatives and help the companies ensure stay abreast of continued updates getting help with compliance can increase efficiency in small businesses in particular by decreasing the amount of documentation required by regulatory bodies that you that means the enterprise or the employees of your or your employees or the enterprise employees must personally administer and oversee then it can also cut down on the cost of managing hippa regulations or other industry specific compliance issues this can include offering such as vulnerability scanning data encryption log monitoring access management and several other tools that can be difficult for smaller organizations to manage themselves on the other hand carving out portions of compliance requirements may make you feel too comfortable see when we are giving this compliance portion to the other organization then we need not to worry about it that means the third party which is dealing with this issue will be responsible or will held responsible for anything which ever happens during the enterprise or in the enterprise working if you assume that another company has taken care of the risk and legal responsibilities 
when it hasn't your business will be the one that pays for any slip ups and those fines can be financially devastating to small businesses relying on someone else to ensure your compliance may muddy the waters and leave certain responsibilities to chance additionally some cloud companies may pitch one size fits all compliance services that may not work well with the company's need to mitigate a specific risk that means every organization or enterprise has some specific needs which needs to be considered separately remember the cloud is not a magic box behind the curtain are servers hardwares and networking equipments before the company hires a vendor make sure its account representative asks the right questions that demonstrates a deep understanding of the enterprise or your industry in which the enterprise is working and a thorough comprehension of the basic needs if the organization or the enterprise fully understand the risks and decide to go ahead with using compliance as a service then you will need to reflect on three key areas before choosing a provider or the service provider which is providing you that particular service which you are asking for first one is knowledge does the vendor have in house expertise about the compliance risk specific to your industry this is the first question you should ask for the knowledge of compliance as a service you are going to use for your own enterprise then the second question is do you understand your own requirements third one a failure to answer these two questions could result in hiring a service provider who does not fully comprehend to the needs of the enterprise or the organization then do not bite on a sales pitch unless you have access to that firm's third party assurance reports an example includes service organization control reports that are actually mapped to the specific compliance requirements then without an assurance report that maps back to your specific compliance requirement you cannot or the enterprise cannot possibly know whether a service company is creatively pitching or telling the truth about its capabilities then second point which an enterprise should know is transparency or should work on is transparency outsourcing infrastructure does not entail sending information off in a vacuum never to be seen again you must have the opportunity to log in and monitor your vendor in real time then make sure the company you hire offers on glowing blog posts updates vulnerability reporting and anything else that's beneficial for the business then you must have unfettered access to see what is happening with the sensitive information at all times then third point is personalization many service providers offers a variety of solutions make sure the vendor you choose understands your business and can outfit your it infrastructure with appropriate safeguards your data must be placed on a server in the company's actual environment and with all defenses enabled learn what the vendor is doing in its various server locations and make sure you understand how the servers are maintained finally check the other businesses managed by the service provider to ensure it follows through the on the scope of its reporting then in cloud encryption is quite arduous to track which is simplified by the compliance as a service to fulfill the needs of end user and organizations around governance including compliance they use cloud provider service these services deliver pre-built behaviors with specific regulations such as 
needed encryption levels compliance as a services are configurable that is no development is required this cost effective for the organizations and it reduce the maintenance along with the changing regulations as well as internal and external policies of the corporations then disadvantages of compliance as a service first thing cloud service consumers will be held responsible for any issues with the compliance services it is mandatory that customer validate the compliance services to ensure that there are no issues between the service provider and the enterprise it is impossible to compliance as a service providers to support all the regulations among all the countries also as all the services are cloud based then there is always a risk that providers will stop to providing the services at any time because of low uses of their services so end user and organization become dependent on the service provider which is providing the services to the organization overall these are some critical aspects which falls under drawbacks of compliance as a service companies often view compliance as a burden and are thrilled to find out that someone else can help out the cloud is a raging buzzword at the moment and as a result few businesses take the time to think about how these systems actually operate that is why you must perform due diligence that means the organizations or enterprises must perform due diligence to find secure solutions for the compliance as a service provider thank you